of our legendary racing heritage. All of our pioneering four-wheel drive experience come together in one amazing new vehicle. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Peng and you're watching the HTV Evening Highlights. The depreciating ringgit has made a lot of things pricier. And next month, Proton cars may be the next thing to come with a heftier price tag. The weak currency is making it expensive for Proton to import the necessary parts and services. The national car maker buys about 20 to 30 percent of its vehicle parts from abroad. Chairman Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad says the higher costs will therefore have to be reflected in the price tax. Whatever parts that we have to import or services we have to import, we have to pay more. And uh, the uh, depreciation is quite considerable. It's almost uh, one, uh, one half ringgit depreciation. If you take uh, three ringgit to the US dollar as a base, today it is 4.4. Uh, as to when exactly we can expect the price hike, Proton CEO Dato Abdul Harith Abdullah says the car maker is trying its best to hold the prices until the second week of February. Just holding on to make sure that those who want to enjoy new Proton is expecting to sell 150,000 units of its cars this year. The target will bank on four new models which will be launched this year as well as existing ones. Last year, Proton sold slightly more than 100,000 units. Times may be tough for many car makers including Proton. But if Malaysia does go ahead and sign the TPPA, Proton as well as Porodua will have to up the ante some more. This as the playing field gets leveled for all auto players. Frost and Sullivan Vice President of Mobility Vivek Vaidya says the two national car makers will have up to five years to adapt to a tougher policy in order to survive. TPPA basically uh, is aimed at providing a level playing field to all players. And that means that Proton as well as Peridua need to be stronger, need to adapt to the increased uh, market space that is available. He suggests that the national car maker collaborate and fast track their technology development. On the bright side, Vaya says Proton and Porodua will get access to the other participants of the TPPA. Currently, Porodua has a market share of 36%. Proton's share shrank from about 30% in 2014 to almost 18%. And it's now in real danger of being overtaken by Honda, which commands a 16% market share. Despite the overall dip in total industry volume, luxury car sales jump 18% year-on-year to reach 23,100 units last year. And leading the pack is Mercedes-Benz with a 48% share of the luxury segment. They are not impacted by, say, uh, credit approval ratings because they have a strong credit rating anyway. So they are not impacted by uh, banks or any other financial institutes uh, reducing their approval rates. Uh, secondly, uh, they are also not impacted as much by uh, the economic slowdown because they are a different class of customers. This year, he expects Malaysia's overall car sales to drop for the second year running. And speaking of Mercedes-Benz, the automaker introduced five new SUV models to the Malaysian market today. The SUVs comprise the GLC, GLE and GLE Coupe models. The German automaker says the premium SUV lineup will redefine the standard of the local luxury SUV segment. The GLC 250 is the smallest of the three new SUVs. Prices starts at 328,000 ringgit. Mercedes-Benz Malaysia is a joint venture between Daimler AG and Cycle and Carriage Bintang. At the close, Cycle and Carriage Bintang's shares fell 0.79% to settle at 3 ringgit 77 sen. That gives it a market cap of 382.2 million ringgit. The Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government Ministry is bracing for a cut in this year's allocation. This as Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Raza prepares to announce revision to Budget 2016 amid falling crude oil prices. Dato Abdul Rahman Dalan, who is in charge of the housing portfolio, warns that his ministry would most likely be affected by cuts in the national spending plan. Uh, generally, uh, I believe the... Um the budget, there are some programs that we might be able to uh, consolidate. 
there might be programs that we might be able to uh, delay. Um, so there will be some uh, some adjustment in terms of uh, the budget of KPKT. But surely um, the housing sector is something that we should be um, serious about. I hope there will be no serious cuts in terms of uh, budget. The PM is set to announce the revisions to budget 2016 on January 28th. This after the price of crude oil slumped from the initial 48 US dollar per barrel assumption when the budget was tabled last October. Back then, just days before it was delivered, Rahman had said that his ministry was hoping for a bigger budget so that his ministry could focus on providing affordable housing. And that wraps up the evening highlights. I'm Jacqueline Peng. Thank you for watching.